And looking over at Vale Village, you can see that we still have a little bit of fall color out there, pretty nice and quiet, but you can also see that flag waving quite a bit out there. That wind is definitely starting to pick up and we are just, that just means that snow is going to get here sooner, right? So snow in the forecast for Wednesday and that means that it's time to do a little shopping. Make sure you are prepared for it. Now here in the studio, Eugenia, this morning, the ski swap. This, this has been going on for how long? 47 years. 47 years. This, this is a big tradition and it's for the Vail Ski and Snowboard Club and this is not, you know, not just like your average club. This isn't just like, you know, maybe 10 people getting together once a week to go skiing, right? No, we have about 650 athletes in our program ranging six to as old as that they'd like to continue competing and we've got kids in alpine freestyle free ski snowboard and nordic programs so. wow okay so you have covered all of the bases yeah. 650 yeah. athletes that's a lot of people to be out there competing and representing the Vail valley so of course we want to support mm -hmm. those people that are pursuing their passions and of course making us look fantastic out there on the slopes now for us to look fantastic on the slopes the ski swap actually kicks off when on Friday, the okay. doors open at five. Okay. Now I know that you've been collecting uh, some goods from people that can, you know, yep. have been contributing some skis and snowboards, and that was this weekend, right? The, yep. the drop off. Yep. And we also have one on Thursday as well. Oh, okay. So, so there's, there's still time. Yes, exactly. Okay. So if you happen to have some gear that's gently used, in good yeah. shape, you don't want to, you know, bring some ratty things in there. Right. Um, but there's an opportunity for you to actually participate and get your gear sold and so how does that work for dropping off? So you can drop off on Thursday at Dobson Ice Arena up on the west end um, from noon to 7 p.m. Okay. So go in, um, we have plenty of volunteers that are there to help you um, price your items and get them out on the floor and will be raring to go by 5 p.m. on Friday. Oh my gosh, I love it. Now this isn't just something where you, you drop off your gear mm -hmm. and it's like a donation. You can actually make some decent money off yeah, of that. Yeah, so you make about 70% of the selling price if it sells. So, And then um, a lot of the stuff at the swap as well is brand new items that come in from shops around the country that come in, unload big trucks, and we'll have you know, around 20,000 items in Dobson Ice Arena. Oh my gosh. I am uh, not jealous of whoever's in charge of in inventory. That, that doesn't <laughs> sound like, uh, that well, sounds like it will keep you busy for days. Now, okay, let's say I want to make sure I get the best deals, that I am the first one in the door. Is there like a VIP entrance? How do I do that? Yeah, so at five o'clock, it's $15 to get in. It's a donation towards Ski and Snowboard Club Vale. Um, you'll start seeing a line form early afternoon. It's great. Um, it's really great to see the community come out and you know, support Ski and Snowboard Club Vale as well as getting their gear for the season. And um, But there's deals to be had all weekend long. So it's okay. free on Saturday and Sunday to get in. Um, but there's there's still plenty of stuff. The, the place never goes empty. But <laughs> I can imagine with that much inventory, mm -hmm plus the new, plus people that, you know, we are all gear hounds here. Yeah. So, you know, even the people that are that are bringing their own gear to, to sell there, you know, it's like top quality. Yeah, there's definitely plenty of great things I've seen over the years and purchased myself. And it's, it's really cool to see, you know, definitely people are trying to get rid of their gear. So there's some great steals out there. Love that. Love getting great deals, especially when you, you know, it's it's amazing, um, you know, what what you need, especially if you're just getting your kids into it for yep. the first time. There, You gotta have the base layers, you gotta have the, the pants and yeah. the jacket and then the gloves and then uh, goggles and then plus, of course, the gear. And then, of course, they grow so quickly that you gotta, yeah. gotta keep going. And it's great for new people just coming into the valley, just you know, getting their stuff for the first year, but it's also great for those who've lived here for many years because we can never have too many jackets. Of course <laughs> not. I know it's so it's so bad. I think um, well, we we definitely won't be going into my closet yeah. to show you how many I have. But if people want to learn more about the club, or if they just want to get all the details and make sure they are the first ones camping out in line, yep. where would you send them for more information? To the Valeskiswap.com has everything there, but there's more information. Um, at skiclubvale.org. Okay, so again, it's kicking off on Friday. You still have one last chance on Thursday to drop off your gear and, and make it part of the swap, but thank you so much for coming on and sharing all the details, and I will thank be you. looking forward to doing a little shopping with you this weekend. Definitely. All right, coming up next, we'll be closing out the show and let you know what's coming up for tomorrow, so don't go away.